Hello, hi guys. So in the last video, we had seen how can we generate a unit test cases using Google Test Framework. We generate, uh, we created a unit test cases in two ways. One is using main and without main. If you haven't watched that video, please go and watch that video before continuing with this video. So now let's see how can we generate that unit test cases itself automatically instead of I writing a code myself so it can be generated automatically. So let me go ahead my uh, this one the program so the summary is like here you can see i have a main and i have a library so in this library I have a addition function the definition and the declaration and also i am generating a library for this one so now i want to generate a test case for this one i want to write a test case for this library so instead of i writing myself i can automatically generate that one so let's see how can we do that one so for that one i am using some tool called rk validate so rk validate uh, is a tool so which is used to generate a unit test cases automatically and also we can see a code coverage as well so the number of line it covers and all those things we can see and also it will support multiple programming languages like uh, c sharp java c plus plus and uh, python such kind of things and also it is supporting multiple programming uh, sorry the multiple ids as well here uh, you can see there are n number of ids which is uh, being supported from rk validate so now in my system i have installed this rk validate and also it gives an intuitive ui so where you can add your test cases instead of you writing so let's see how can we do that one so let me go ahead and so let's before uh, that one so let's see how can we build our project so this is our regular way right so i use a cmake to build a make files so then i'll use a build so here you can see main.cpp generated a dot out and it generated calc this is my library so now instead of doing this one what we have to do is we have to do something like rk tracer space cmake hyphen b build enter so here it generate a build system so it generate a make file for us so but we have given something called rk tracer here that's it so then it is our regular build hyphen build build enter so here you can see it is instrumenting all the source code which is present in my project. Here you can see the calc.cpp is being instrumented. So similarly main.cpp is also instrumented. Let me go into this build directory and let's execute rk unit. Enter. So once you enter this one, here you can see a beautiful GUI. So this is where we are going to add my test cases, add our test cases. And also this RK validate supports multiple test frameworks. So here it is a G test and also you can, you can even generate a test cases for unity as well. So as of now, let's go ahead and uh, select G test. And here you can see, this is my project directory and this is my main.cpp and int main is there. So, but my interest is my calc.cpp. Let's go here and have a function. This is a calc add so let me click on this one so simply as soon as you click here so automatically the test case one is added so let me go ahead and say 10 and 20 so this is my input and my expectation is let's say 30 30 is my expectation let's save this one you can click on this one you can save so once you click here you will see two icons here so one is the i icon so let me zoom out a little bit yes so here you can see so this is i icon and the pen icon is there so if you click on this one you can see the complete source code which automatically written from rk validate software and there's a pen icon once you click this one even you can go ahead and edit this test cases as well so let me click on this one and let's come back so let me go and create one more test case there are two ways you can create so one thing is just you can click here here go ahead and let's say 100 100 and 200 so the result is 300 this is one way to add one more test case so let me save this one and also there is one another way just you click on this one again so once you click on this one again test case 2 is added so here you can see 10 and 20 so let's um, do some uh, negative test cases so 10 and 5 my expectation is wrong let's say instead of 15 i expect to come so this test case should fail right so let's see how that works 
so let me save this one so once you save this one so my test case is automatically generated you can you click on this i icon to see all the test cases which is being generated here you can see there is a two expectation in my first test case that is 10 and 20 expectation is 30 100 and 200 expectation is 300 and the next test case is here and 10 and 5 my expectation is 10 but here the expectation should be 15 this test case should fail so let me go back and click on this i icon again and also even you can edit your test cases name here itself instead of 001 if you want to do something else so you can do that one so let's save this one and go back to my terminal so here what we have to do is make clean first we have to clean then again make so this time it is compiling my unit test case as well here you can see it has generated a unit test case so the unit test case is nothing but our a dot out so let me go ahead and execute a dot out can you see here so 0 1 this is executed fine and it is passed and here you can see which is 15 my expectation is 10 but the actual is 15 so this is a wrong test case right so let me go ahead and fix this test case so my expectation is 15 let me go ahead and save then again make so once you do this make so it is automatically compiling it again let's execute a dot out can you see here the a dot out is completely executed fine and also at last here you can see my my main itself is executed so before my main execution all the test cases are being executed so let's go and see the report to see the report what you have to do is rk unit results enter so once you see that one once you enter this one here you can see all this entire code coverage as well so here you can see i have created uh, two expectations here both are success expected is 30 and actually is 30. so similarly 300 and 300 and my test case 2 is this one and if you click on this uh, blue thing here you can see the entire source code as well and you can come here and also you can click some icon here coverage report here you can see four time my code has been hit here so one time is uh, two times with this test case one time with this test case and one time when once it is executed with main so on each one you will get a different uh, ui on the right side so when you click on this lib this is how you can see on calci you can see something like this so this is what uh, even you can see unit test source code like this so yeah this is how we can use a Rket Tracer tool to generate your unit test cases and also you can see the reports as well. So I think that's it for this video. So if you like this video, please share and subscribe. Thank you.